Hey, welcome to Ad Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Heroes. Heroes. Welcome. welcome. Merchants of Dragon Reach. I wonder if it's Heroes Welcome or Heroes Welcome. welcome. I guess both Anyway, are. both work. Mm. So <laughs> Heroes Welcome is a, uh, a kind of lighter worker placement game, action selection, for two to five players, um, designed by Eduardo Baraf and Marc LeBlanc, mm. and uh, published by Monkey Jump Games. Plays in about an hour, okay. but for two of us, it's going to take, I think, less than that, as sure. usual. But, we'll see. Um, but yeah. Okay, so after the break, join us at the table, and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome back. So as we said, we have Heroes Welcome here, and we are now set up for two players and ready to go. So if you take a look at the table, we'll show you the board layout and the setup, and we'll get started. So what do we have? <clears throat> Heroes Welcome is a game where we are like, I don't know. We're like goblins. Goblins. I yes. guess they're goblin merchants, we're goblins. right? We're goblin merchants that run sort of a little village or town outside of a dungeon, and the heroes are going to come, and we're going to try to take all of their money and loot. Yes. And then send them back in a dungeon to repeat the And then, the like, process. sell them stuff. Well, actually, with their own stuff. Sell, the mon <laughs> yeah, sell them stuff and sell the monsters they're yes. fighting stuff with their own stuff. Right. So we're, we're going to take them for everything they have, right? Right. But meanwhile, they're going to gain levels and get stronger as they mm -hmm. go. So. Um, what we have is the main board, and this is really the starting little town that we have. We're going to be upgrading this town throughout and, and taking different actions on different buildings. That's where the whole worker placement uh, set comes in. So for a, a standard two-player setup and, and the basic setup, you've got a, a hero marker here, which you're not really going to get to see during the game because I actually have it on the stand. Um, I had it laying down, but it's too big. It is. Like it takes so, up like the whole thing. They're, so. We're going to be sending them on our turns to each different location and, and actually running the shops that we send them to and trying to take all their stuff. <laughs> uh, over here you have a tonic pond with five potions that we'll explain that once we get to that that action. It's part of a building action. <clears throat> Down here you have a black market where we've drawn random uh, item tiles. Now there's there's two real types of items in this game. There's magic items mm -hmm. and there are um, shards, right. which are like, like gems. crystals, gemstones. Yeah. yeah, that's really the only two differences. Now there's different varieties of each of those, but they they are for the most part. The overarching category is what matters. Right. The finer details are what you try to trigger bonuses on. Over here we have monster tokens, which we have all face down and, and sort of created a pool that are going to be going into the dungeon once we arm them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that'll be determined. You know, that'll determine who the uh, the heroes are actually going to fight. Here you have the hero board, and their backpacks each start with two items randomly drawn from the loot bag, mm -hmm. and you have the handy dandy loot bag. Uh, over there. So you want to go through our hero boards and what we have? Yeah, sure. So um, so we've each chosen a goblin to play as and I am Orza Ogrebait. Ooh. So she's kind of like a Shrek person. She did, they, they both kind of look like Shrek people. They do, yeah. <laughs> in any case, um, so she's she's the ubiquitous franchisee and there's a lot of flavor in this game so yes. I won't go over all of the, all the little details. But what's important is the starting inventory um, and her ma starting mastery. So we each start with a mastery in a certain type of either uh, magical good, I guess, right? Material. Material of mm -hmm. some kind. So on the backs of these magical items are, uh, like you said, kind of finer details. Uh, they're more specific about what types they are. And depending on your mastery level, if you use a certain amount of those in fulfilling your contracts to the monsters, you'll actually get bonus points. Right. So she is a master of Ethereum to start off with. Start, right. And we can upgrade our mastery and also collect new mastery by yes. visiting places on the board. So, <clears throat> um, And then also, if I don't use Orc Steel, which is another type of item, um, or I guess item material, material yes. um, I'll get plus one. Okay. Victory point. <clears throat> so I've got Mordecai Mushka, <laughs> and he is really just a uh, specialist of Mithril. So when he crafts using just Mithril, he gets bonuses. If he doesn't use Ethereum, he can add Mordecai's name, his own name, to the source. So it'd be like oh, Mord Mordecai's good. Bracers of Agility. Yes. As long as I don't use Ethereum, because that, he, he's known to never use Ethereum. Uh, every player starts with uh, with some gold, so the player yeah. one starts with five, player two, myself, starts with six. We each get a starting item, mm -hmm. and really, they're 
basically Ethereum you get, which yeah. does me no good, right. obviously. <laughs> but that's what you start with. And we get two scam cards. The scam cards are going to be played during your turn to do whatever the, stamp, the card allows you to do. It gives you kind of like some bonus actions or, or allows you to break some of the rules. So the way the game flow is going to go is, is, is really quite simple. And we're just going to take actions on the board, and the game is broken into two phases, the town phase and then the dungeon crawl phase. So in the town phase, we are going to be sending these heroes to any adjacent location in the town that is open, and then they will take that town's action, and we will be the vendor, the merchant that actually runs the shop. Right, yeah. right? But once we run the shop, the, the actual location is going to then close, and no one can take another action there. Unless you have maybe have a card that allows so it really to tightens that. it up. Yeah, so it'll tighten the board up really well during the game. We could also take as merchants any one of these guild location actions, right? So we'll just say, okay, I'm going to go to this artisan guild and I'm going to go and perform the action here. And as we're going along, we're going to be shutting down all these locations. Um, but one location that doesn't close, for example, is the workshop where we can actually craft items for any of the monsters in the monster offer. And these are the monsters that are actually going to go and populate the dungeon mm -hmm. for our heroes to go and attack. Right. Right? So we're, we're going to beef them up a bit so they can beat on these heroes a little bit. <laughs> uh, at any point during the round, when one of us decides that they've done all the actions you possibly can out in town, you call for an end of the phase and to send the, the heroes into the dungeon. Any other player at that point has the option to offer one of their goods to bribe a delay. Right. Right? And allow that player to take another turn. Right. Um, the player who calls for the action must take the bribe. Right. So it's kind of neat because it's not, it, there's not like a bribery mechanic necessarily. Right. It's just like, actually, we're going to stay in town a little bit longer. Yeah. And you know you have to kind of forfeit that. And to gain to, to gain an item is actually quite yeah, nice. So that's cool. it's not a bad yeah. bribe, and yeah. for that person to get another action, not a big deal. Yeah. Um, but then once that phase is over, the the, the heroes are going to go through the <clears throat> through the dungeon, fight the monsters. A whole bunch of things are going to happen. Then they're going to come back to town. We are going to continue to do this until all of the monster cards have been filled. All mm -hmm. of the orders. When we get to the very last monster that token will go. So every time we fill an order, one of these monster tokens goes in the dungeon to the well-armed enemies because we're arming them up. Once the boss token goes out, that dungeon crawl phase starts and the game ends. Right. And we then count up our victory points and, and go with that. So with that, I think we'll explain the locations as we start to play mm -hmm. and um, let's get to it. All right. All right, so I am the master merchant and also the first player because I have the the ring of going first. You do. That's my item I start with. So I think I will go down to the peddler, the peddler, right? And what the peddler allows us to do is pay one dollar. So I'm actually going to get some change here, real quick. Three, four, and purchase an item from one of the hero's backpacks. And on the board, it'll tell you if you can take a magical item or if you can take only a gem. Sometimes you'll see this like half square, half circle, and that means you can take anything. So I'm going to go shopping with this guy and give him a dollar and take his emerald. All right. So they're coming to the peddler mm -hmm. and selling a good. Yes. So to... that location is not close. Yeah, so you just bought items from them. I did. All right. So that's my turn. So I have to go to a... Yeah, I gave you like a ton of options. And the adjacent location, <laughs> yes. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the other peddler in town mm -hmm. and pay a dollar to okay. the same guy. This guy? Yeah, and I'll take that helmet. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so I just bought Galoshes of Galumping from from our fighter, I think it is. Yeah, it's like a fighter. Yeah. Wow, we cleaned him dry. An elf, right? It's like a wizard and an elf. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. A thief, yeah. So it's a wizard and a thief. Yeah. Okay. They don't really have much stuff that I want over there. Those guys. Uh... Hmm, that's a problem. <laughs> well, I'm trying to not use orc steel. And that over there is orc steel. Yeah, so basically any of the weapons are orc steel. Any yeah. of the helmets are... Our, uh, I mean, I can use it, but it's just not something that I would like to do. No, but they do sell orc steel in the black market. 
I know I don't want to. I don't want to waste all my money in the black market though. All right. Um, I'll go to the flea market, mm -hmm. I guess. So at the flea market, you can trade one item for two of any other item. So I'll trade the wizard my ring for two items. Okay. So now I'm stuck up here kind of in a corner. So I can't go to another location. Mm -hmm. So I could do other things though. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I will. Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to the Builder's Guild. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's my guy going there. I'm not sending the heroes there. And I'm going to build one shop from the future shops, and that would be this pawn shop, for mm. example. And this can go... Eh, I don't want it because it has to go over the flea market. market and yeah. It's already used. Yikes. Uh, I could do this old town. Mm-hmm. Right, so this is an old town. And yeah. This is basically. You can't uh, use it I wouldn't, yeah, see, that's because that's a fighter. <laughs> that's a fighter only building. Yeah, you go to the jeweler. Yeah, I don't want that. You don't either. want that stuff. Though. Nah, I'm not building anything. Okay. I'm going somewhere else. <laughs> uh, see, like if you're stuck, you can go to the minstrels guild and you can discard any of your items, and then it'll allow you to move the heroes to any open shop. Right. If you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. But instead, I'll just go to the artisans guild. And I can gain mastery in a card of your choice or upgrade an existing mastery. So I'm going to upgrade my Mithril Mastery to level 2. Okay. So that is my turn. That's cool. Alright, I guess I will... Hey, we are kind of stuck up there, aren't we? Mm-hmm. I don't want any of that stuff. Alright, I'm going to... I think I'm going to actually go to the workshop. Okay. So I am going to fill an order for this guy the troglodyte mm -hmm. so he wants to buy a mask which is going to require um some shards and two of anything else and i'll use an ethereum and i'll use orc steel didn't want to do that but that's okay so um so these are actually going to go with two bags the loot bag and then we have the like remnants scrap bag or scrap bag so those will go in there um and i will take this plus my reward so i will get four victory points and three dollars, and I'll keep that over in my little right, filters. So now one ar well-armed monster goes mm -hmm. into the dungeon, preparing yep. for battle. And just so you know, these on the other side of these chits is actually one of these guys. Mm -hmm. And when we flip them during the dungeon phase, you'll see who killed that monster, and right. that that um, hero will actually level up. But we can't know who that is ahead of time. Yep. Okay, so what I can do is I can play a card called Knucklebone. So these cards can be played anytime during your turn. And it says swap one item from a hero's backpack or the black market with a random token drawn from either bag. Mm. So I'll just swap one of these, say... You want from the loot bag? I'm yeah, saying. why not? So I swap with this, that goes in there. So I'll grab, grab another eye roll, that's great. <laughs> Uh, with a random token from the bag, repeat this process with the second one and then repeat it again with the third. So I can do this okay. three times. So swap one from a hero's backpack with a random. So I'm going to swap this one. So let me <laughs> grab, grab first. Grab you don't first, grab and right I'll back put on. it in a second. All right, so I grabbed a red gem. And now shake that up really good. And then I'll do it again. Okay. So knuckle bones. Just to try to get some new stuff out. All right, so I got a helmet. Uh, what did I swap with that? Oh, it doesn't matter, right? Whatever I choose, I'll choose that one. All right, so I just got some fresh inventory into the black market. Um, and with that, I'm going to take a black market action, and I'm going to spend $4. Okay. Oh, no, I'm going to spend $2, and I could buy one item, right? Mm-hmm. So I'll buy this helmet. And that goes to the bank. Yes. It does not go to the heroes, because I bought it from the black market. Mm. So now you get to go. Oh man. Okay. I am going to use my scam card called Free Samples, mm -hmm. which allows me to move the heroes one space. And you can move them onto a closed space, but not a field. So I'll move them here to the peddler. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go down here to the curio shop. And that allows me to buy as much stuff as I want from one hero. And I will pay at a dollar a piece. Mm -hmm. So. I will buy 
these two things and I'll give him, I'll just make some change with the bank. One to me and two to them. Okay. And now I've got these two items. All right, and that shop is now closed. Mm -hmm. So then I will take them down to the herbalist. Mm, that's good. And the herbalist, uh, I think we, do we refill that now? I think we might. I'll okay. Uh, the herbalist, I get to sell the heroes potions, and I can sell them up to five potions. I'm going to sell them <laughs> four potions. Two, and only to the ones that can afford it. Right. So I'm going to sell two to... So you're essentially like forcing potion on them. Or yeah. maybe they can't resist it. They can't resist my, they can afford it, they my mercantilism. <laughs> so I get to take all... The, no, that comes oh, that to comes me. to you, right? Oh, yeah. yeah there you go. I'm taking all their monies. Okay. There you go. So I got four bucks. And that also bumps them up, because what's going to happen during our dragon, or dungeon crawl, rather, is they'll get loot in the amount of mm -hmm. their level. So we really want them to be pumped up. So there's a lot of stuff out there. That's right. So it is your turn. Oh, you already went to Artisan Scale, didn't you? Sure did. Oh, you really put me in a pickle here. Hmm. How much money do I have? Hmm. Huh. Mm. Yeah, the hunting lodge is kind of cool. You didn't build yet, did you? No. Or the old town, rather. Oh, sorry, the uh, these guilds closed because I did yeah, you market. did that. Yeah. And yeah, I do refill. You refill the black market by drawing from the scrap heap, by the way. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go to the builders guild, and I will build a. I'm gonna build a jeweler. I think that would be good. Build it down here. And these buildings will tell you where you can build them. Mm -hmm. This one can be built on a field space. But it has to be just as two buildings. Oh, that's right. I'll put it up here. Really? That's interesting. Why? You don't want to use the jeweler? I mean, I guess you can't, but... I c what? Well, no. There's nothing I can I can buy from any of these heroes. That's the thing with the, the Builder's Guild is that after you build a building, you get to go again. Yeah, I know. So you typically would build a building and then use it. Mm-hmm. Typically. Yeah. Typically. Not in this case, I guess. I just kind of wanted to build something. Okay. Uh, because for my action, I'm going to go to the Goldsmith Guild. Okay. And I'm going to gain $2 from the bank. Mm hmm And then I'm going to spend a victory point to gain $5 from the bank. Okay. So I just have lots of money. You do. All right. So that's pretty much all the actions we could do. Yeah. So I'm going to... I'm going to go to the Merchant's Guild, actually, and I'm going to take two scam cards, because these are actually quite good. Now it's your turn. All right. Hmm. Yeah, that stinks. They don't have any good stuff. No, we have to build more buildings. This comes back out. Yeah, I know. Ooh, and a pop carry. Yeah, that's really good, actually. That's good. You get two gold for each. Mm-hmm. I'd like to move to a closed shop. Maybe I'll do that. Really? I no. I think we'll go ahead and do a dungeon crawl. Yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna send I'm sending the heroes away. I'm okay with that. Okay, so, I figured you would be. I do that. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that happens is we kill the enemies and level up. So they are successful because we've given them all these, well, I guess we haven't They've forged great provisions. weapons yeah. for, the, for them. So we got the this guy. So that comes over here. The wizard. The I wizard. Guess. And that levels him up. The second thing is they collect loot. So one loot per hero level, and that's why this is important. So the potions actually take up those spots. So right now, each of our other heroes are going to get three loot. Right, so then these all come back uh, in the next phase. Actually, I'll wait. Yeah, just it. In a minute. One, two. Yeah, he only gets two. Mm -hmm. That sucks. One, two, and three. Okay. Wow. Okay. 
open shops, guilds, and return the potions. So let's go back. All right, next. And if there's fewer than four customers, which there are, we draw three more cards. Three more. Yeah. So just this is kind of our timer, and I'll move some of my stuff out of the way. Somewhere. We can just make two. Oh, you want to make two piles? Yeah, it doesn't okay. matter. And these decks are stacked in order, and they should be. They are number right? order, the monsters, yeah. Very, very, go. very good. Okay. Five, six, seven. That can't, kind of came out weird, but that's okay. Um, all right. Wow. See, we're getting some of the ones that have more stuff. Mm hmm. Okay, okay next. Perfect. Expand the town. So you're the master merchant. I am the master merchant. So I will build. We take the top building, and it is an emporium. And this covers up a peddler spot, which I'm totally cool with. So we'll cover up that right there. Okay. Next. Pass the merchant, master merchant I'm tile. I'm now the master merchant. I return to town. So then they go back to town. We start over. All right. Okay. All right. I get first action. So I get to buy an item twice, or two different items, rather. So I'm going to go to the Emporium. Okay. Yeah, I was like, where are you Since going you with that? kindly <laughs> built that for me. I did. So instead of just doing one purchase action, I can do two. So I can buy, uh, what does he have? I can't see all these items. Oh, um, we have a bag of withholding, oh, a, a purse of, of infinite incorrect junk. change, emerald. <laughs> Um, a bunch of more ethereum that a you don't want. A bunch of more A ethereum. bunch of more ethereum. All right. Uh, here's a thing you would like. A longbow of friendly fire. Okay, I'll rubies. take the longbow and a ruby from that character. Okay. Here you go. Thank you, and that'll do. Okay. Perfect. That's my action. All right. And... I'll go to the curio shop. Mm hmm And I will buy some things. I'll spend three dollars with this guy and buy all these things. You can do that. I can. And then those are all, none of those are gems, right? Nope, they're okay. all magical items. All right, so that is a closed up shop. Closing up shop. Closing up shop. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's good. <laughs> So I'm going to go to the herbalist, and I'm going to sell them potions. Okay. I'm going to sell them all five potions. Mmm, three and two. Yeah. Okay. As long as they can afford it. Yep. Wow. Wow. Well, they want the potions. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm going to go down here to the Artisan's Guild and upgrade my Mastery in Ethereum. Mm -hmm. The Artisan's Guild, you said? Mm -hmm. Alright, so you just upgraded. I'm going to go to the Thieves' Guild and I'm going to buy one item for two dollars. So that goes to the bank. I'm going to just buy this Shield of Blame Deflection. Mm. And this gets replaced with Scrap. <laughs> with scrap emerald. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go to the workshop and I think I will make. Ooh. Oh, there's some good stuff here. I can only do one at a time, though, right? Mm hmm. <sighs> How much money do I have? Four dollars. Wow, that guy gives you nine bucks. Yeah, that's pretty good. But you only get two victory points. I know. I like this guy. I'm going to sell this gremlin. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sell all three of my Ethereum. Okay. And craft him a dagger with my name on it. Okay. Put those in the scrap bag. And that gets me... It gets me a dollar. This and... starter equipment uh, does not go in the... Oh, right. It yeah. goes out of the game. Just to Just it, yeah. And then I get five points... Plus one because I did not use Oryx Steel. Mm -hmm. Plus two because I used three Ethereum. Ethereum. S Ethereum. So it actually gives me eight points. Okay. Very good. I'll just take it down. Very, very good. All right. So 
I guess what I'll do is I'll go to the workshop as well. Okay. And I'm going to build something for the orc warrior up here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to build him a, what does he want? An axe? He wants an axe. So I'm going to use three pieces of mithril mm. and one ruby because he needs a gem. Yeah. So red shards. So it came in handy for you. Yep. So I will take that guy. Okay. And, and he comes with four plus... Four plus one plus, plus two. two. Seven. Okay. And four dollars. Now, two of these guys actually go into the dungeon now. Mm-hmm. Because you've just armed two. Yeah. Thank you. It is your turn. Hmm. Mm. All right, I'll go to the workshop again, and I'll sell the reanimated corpse. <laughs> he wants a hook. Yeah. So I'll sell him these two things. And that's just four points, because that's all it works to you, so I don't get, like, bonuses for that. Orc steel. That's what it is, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that stinks, right, having that mm -hmm. cruddy material? Yeah. So I'm going to go and do a... I'm going to play one of my free samples, and that's going to allow me to move to any... Any one, move it one space and move them to a clothes shop if necessary. I'll move them back up to the Emporium. And then for okay. my turn, I'm going to go to Flea Market. Mm, that's such a good one. Yep, and I'm going to trade my Longbow of Friendly Fire okay. to the Warrior and grab two of those, yeah, those two okay. Ethereums. Not that I really want it, but... Yeah, I was wondering why you would take it. That's all they have out there. I know, yeah, that's Unfortunately. True. You know what, let me... You want the Emerald too? No, I'm gonna, because if I'm gonna trade this instead of the axe, I'm okay. gonna hold on to the axe. There you go. And I'm gonna keep this and give me the emerald. No, I want this instead. Okay. I give me the emerald instead of the ethereum. Okay. okay that. <laughs> that probably was a smarter move. Yeah, I think so. So what I'm gonna do then is finish my turn and you okay. go. Let's close that up. All right, that's shut down. Mm, here's your points, by the way. Oh, thank you. I see that whole pile of purple papers. <laughs> whole pile of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have seen the same shops out. Yeah. The apothecary, you already went to the... Oh, you gotta start building. Yeah, I know. But I have to build that on the herbalist, and he's already closed. You know? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to the goldsmith again. Okay. I'm gonna close that up for me. So I get two bucks, and then I get to spend one victory point. Mm hmm And get five more bucks. Okay. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, so what I could do is I'll go to the workshop again. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna build for the demon imp okay. with an emerald and some orc steel. Okay. So I don't get any bonuses. You're building him a shiv. A shiv. He's gonna <laughs> shiv somebody. So three victory points of four dollars. Okay. And another one of these comes out. You built two as well, right? So I there's did. actually four monsters on the board. That's yeah. huge. Okay. Three points and four dollars. You used Ethereum? I did, so I didn't get a bonus. You did use Ethereum? No, I didn't actually. I, I was didn't use say, Ethereum. No, 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 no I didn't. Point. So I do get another point. And how many dollars? Four dollars. Four? Do you have a dollar? I do. Yeah. Oh, well, you gave me victory points. Oh, oops. But I'll take them. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. No! Cheating. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go down here to the peddler okay. and pay two dollars to pick up these two items. Do you pay them to him? Oh yeah, that's right. I was like, where's all his money? Yeah. <laughs> I traded with him. That's just why I didn't get yeah. any money. All right, so that's shut down. I guess we can get some of these things on the board. 
Okay. So I'll go to the Builders Guild mm -hmm. and I'll throw like this guy, the old town, mm. out in the field. Because yeah. that's a field location, so I can go, right, right. it's adjacent to two, so that can go there. Okay. Pull one out. I do get another action. So I will go to say. He doesn't have any items left, so it's not even worth it. Uh, my other action. Yikes. All right, I'll go to the Minstrels Guild, and that'll allow me to... No, I don't want to... Yeah, I'm going to discard this Ethereum, because mm -hmm. I don't really need it. I was going to say. And then I can go to this shop and immediately run it. Yeah. Right, and then I will get... Pay a dollar to buy his ruby, because it has to be a gem only. Yeah. And again, the Minstrels Guild allows you to move to any open shop. Any open so shop. So it doesn't have to be adjacent. Yep. All right. Um, I'm calling for the dungeon. All right, and I agree. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Why did you want to bribe me? No, because <laughs> I just got this ruby. <laughs> so I'm not giving it up. All right, so we're going to kill enemies. Wow, everybody was in a fight this time. Uh-oh. Boop. He's too high of a level. All right, so we'll just give him five. Yep. Well, you get six. Six rather that's the top, right? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of items. I know. You pumped him up. I did. Just pumped up kicks. Pumped up kicks. It's the headband of hair control. Is that what it is? Yeah. I need that. What? <laughs> Your hair's always perfect. I don't, it doesn't make any sense to me. Three. Six. Four. <laughs> Sorry, I'm <laughs> so slow <laughs> Well, I'm trying to make sure they're like loot side up too, not material side. Well, we can always fix that after. You know. Four. There you go. One, two, three, four. All okay. right, so all come back. the potions. Take all your tonic potions back. Potions come back. It's a potion explosion. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right, he's like very powerful right now. With a wizard? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you return all the clothes? I didn't do that yet. I got all the potions Thanks. back. Um, I'll get our new customers out, so we'll reorganize these guys a little bit. Okay. So we bring out three more. Yeah. So, one, two, three. Okay, and we've got Ooh, like four rounds left. Okay. Not much left. Yep. Okay. All right. So then, uh, if you're the four, draw three, expand the town. So I get to do it this time. Underground. The fence. The underground. So that could replace a fence. Is there, we don't <laughs> even have one. a fence out, so that'll go here. Yeah. These guys will connect. Cool. And pass the master merchant. Mm -hmm. And then these guys come back to town, out of the dungeon. Don't I get a scam card for calling end of round? You do. Thank you. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, so we are ready to start the next okay. round. All right. All right, you lead us off. Okay, I will. I am going to use a scam card. Again, it's free samples. So I can move the heroes one space. Do you want to do that? <sighs> oh, it really depends on where you're heading. I know. I know. Oh wait, this is two different heroes, right? I'm not gonna use this. That's any hero two times. Oh, it's any hero two times. Which could be two different heroes, but you only get to buy one good from two different heroes. You get to do the action twice. I get to do the action twice. Yeah. But it could be two heroes and two items? Or oh, two heroes, one item each, or one hero for two items. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, I will do that. I thought it was one hero, no, two that, items. That icon means any one hero, okay. any one customer. All right, so I'm going to spend one. Well, I'm going to make some change first. So here's a five. Here's like five ones. And I'm going to spend one dollar here and take this. And I'm going to spend one dollar here and take this. This guy has too much stuff. I have all these orbs. <laughs> That's it. That's it? 
Yeah, that's all I can do. Okay, so then I'll go to the curio shop. Mm-hmm. And I'll buy from one hero as many times as I want. I can buy items. Mm -hmm. So I'll go to the the wizard. Okay. And I'm gonna buy one, two, three, four, five items. You wanna buy all of his items? Everything. Oh my goodness. Here, give him six dollars. I need the dollar what I to dollar do. change. Why well, not? I mean. I know it's good. What's money? I need all this material. That's good. It's good. All this work steel. <laughs> Cause I can work in work still, you can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't. It's not good. Alright. I I'm gonna go to the workshop. Okay. And I'm gonna pay all this Ethereum for to Ethereum? make a collar for the werewolf. Oh. And that's gonna give me Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Points. That's a big and $2. one. Two dollars. That is a big one. All right, yeah. So we get one of these up here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to. Hmm. All right. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go and build mm. an apothecary. Okay. Right here. Yeah, it's good. And then I'm going to take this action. <laughs> Why are you doing the potion so much? But I get two dollars per potion that I sell. So okay. I'm gonna sell mm, let's see. I'm gonna sell the middle guy two potions, so he's gonna give me four bucks. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Just give him a five and a one, and I'll give him a change. Okay. Wait a minute. So here's your six dollars. Yeah, just pay me there. six and I'll give him a dollar change. Okay. There. So I just sold him two potions. And then I'm going to sell each of them, uh, the, I'm going to sell the hero, uh, the, the warrior one, for two dollars. Mm -hmm. How much is this guy? Does he have two bucks on him? The, uh, the rogue? No. He doesn't? Yes. Oh, he does. Oh, he's got money in his pocket somewhere. <laughs> I'll sell him a potion, and that's okay. it. No one else is getting any more potions. All right. These no guys have potions. to dig deep. I can't believe you sold that guy two potions. I have ten dollars back, please. Ten dollars back? Do you have hundreds in there? No. Oh. Three, six, nine, ten, okay. If you don't have hundreds. Gotta keep you honest over there. Alright. So, yeah, that was my build action. That was good. That was good, right? Mm -hmm. I, yes, love, yes. I love selling them. <laughs> what? I love selling them that stuff. I know you do. Oh, there's still stuff. Okay, that's true. That's true. Let's see, you can buy rubies. Because the jeweler is only jewelry. Yeah, see? You could easily do that. As many times as you want. As many people as I want. Mm-hmm. No, that means any one customer. As many times as you want. It must be built on, uh, it allows you to purchase one or two loot from a single hero. Yeah, so I did that wrong. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, no big deal. Okay. Because oh. if it's a bunch of them, it has this, like, cluster. Yeah, that makes you know sense. I mean? Uh, okay. So, I'm going to go to the peddler. Oh. And I'm going to spend $3. Uh. Wait, what? Oh, wow, what are you buying? I want to buy all those things. You can't. Oh. Peddler only allows you to buy one item. Oh. <laughs> we just had this discussion. Yes. Uh, who are you trying to buy from? The green guy? Yeah. Can you get here? Yeah, I can. Let's go there and you can buy three items from her. Yeah, but I might want to do something else. Each. You can buy one thing from each of them. I don't know a lot of stuff. Alright. Oh. I kind of want to upgrade the flea market though. Um, I don't have any stuff though. The flea market? So. Oh, Trapezoid Alley's out. Alley. That's for the wizard. Oh, no, he doesn't have anything 
All right, I'll use this to move one space. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just move down to the underground. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. Spend $3. Fair There's enough. Like all this stuff. Wow. Interesting move. Oh, stop. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to train. And I'm going to learn Red Shard Mastery. Level 1. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go to the old town. Mm-hmm. And for two dollars, I'm gonna buy these two things. Wow! 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 <laughs> oh, these guys are pretty much run out of town. They're picked dry. They are pretty picked. Hmm. Uh, yeah. There's not much left to do here. I guess I'll go to like the black market maybe, and buy an axe. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy one thing for two dollars. I'll just buy a ruby. Okay. Hmm. I. Wow, you have so much stuff. Mm-hmm. That's ridiculous. Oh, orders will be filled. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna go up to the goldsmith. Okay. And the bondsmith. The bondsmith? No. I'm gonna get $2 and then pay one of these and get $5. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go to the workshop and I'm gonna build something. Something? Something? Two, three, yeah. I'm going to build this for the cave giant. Mm, okay. So what I'm going to use is three red shards mm -hmm. and two orc steel. Okay. That should do it, right? Yeah. That's going to uh, be lots of I achieved my red shard mastery. So that's okay. plus three. So I get five, six, seven, eight. I did not use Ethereum, so that's nine. Okay. So I get nine victory points cool. and three dollars. Do you have a victory point you can give me? Yes. Or at least give the bank. I can. Just mine. And three bucks? Three bucks. You go. Thank you. Okay, and here's your cave. We got a monster in the dungeon. Yep. So I made him a club. Mm -hmm. All of, that's a pretty fancy club, though. It is. There's a lot of shiny gems on it. <laughs> so you only did one this round. Huh? One monster. Just a werewolf, right? Yeah, for yeah. now. And I did the cave giant. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to. I just wanted to make sure we got enough. Did you put one of these tokens up there for me? I did, okay. yeah. Um, I'm going to spend this Midnight Oil. Ooh, you're going to burn the Midnight I'm Oil. I'm burning the Midnight Oil. And I can ignore clothes signs when I take a visit a guild action. Ooh, what are you going to do? So I'm going to go to the Artist's oh, Guild you as well. Oh, you so bad. And I also want that red one. Oh. The red shards. <laughs> you got mad when I took that. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're probably like, I wanted to do I that. I wanted to do this. Red shards. All right, there we go. Okay, so you're burning the midnight oil. Yes. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'm gonna send them to the dungeon. All right, know? so here. You're, you're bribing burning. me? Yep. Yes. I feel like that's orc steel, so. No, it's mithril, actually. Or mithril. That's I exactly right. I don't know any of that stuff is, so. <laughs> I know about rubies. <laughs> mithril. <laughs> and Ethereum. Okay, I'm gonna go to the workshop, and I'm going to craft something for this goal. Oh, goal reaver. A goal, <laughs> it's a goal reaver. reaver. He's like Ghoul Reaver, um, and he wants four of anything. So, well, he wants a gem plus three, three other good. things. So yeah. here's three other things plus a ruby. I use three rubies, so I get the plus three. I had to use Orc Steel, mm -hmm. so that sucked. Oh no, this is Mithril. It's Mithril. Yeah. So that's not Orc Steel. Yeah. I don't know if I've been discounting myself that the whole time. So you get eleven points. All right. Hey, I'll take this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't give me any money, but... Put them in scrap. Cool. And another guy. And these guys are actually going to go up there. So you're good? Yep. All right. Uh, just to clarify, before we do this dungeon run, we um, earlier we had been putting the potions in their level slots. They don't actually go there until after they level. 
Yeah. Then it will fill in the rest of the empty slots. Otherwise, but, it doesn't look weird. But we didn't count that extra one anyway, so. Yeah, it's fine. It did. It just. It's fine. Okay. So, so they're gonna have... kill enemies. Yes, I can't reach. Green, red, blue. Oh, everybody! There wow, blue go. is just yeah, like, blue's like pumped up. Totally leveled. Okay. And now we fill and their their um yeah, their potions. So he gets one. The other one's like more or less wasted. Yeah. yeah. But he had the money for it, yeah. so it didn't matter. Or she. Or she. <laughs> So four for that. Are we getting thin on that bag? Yes. And what will happen is our um, excess bag. Our oh, scrap bag. Is that the scrap bag? Will actually become our loot bag. That's right. Because it has all the extra tokens in I'll it. Start but... clearing these off. While yeah. You're doing that. Yep. It's the cape of fashion sense. <laughs> Wow, look at all that loot coming back. I know. Try to stack them so you can see them, but... Yeah, I'm gonna get like buried. I can't tell what they, what they have. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can ask me, I'll tell you. I'm Oops. sure. <laughs> Alright, that looks like a pretty good mix of stuff over there. Yeah. You can go ahead and grab all their potions too. Yeah, there we go. I'm done neatening it up. Ugh, here you go. Potions. It's like a potion Potions. explosion over here. It's it ridiculous. Okay, there we go. All right, so open shops and guilds and return potions. Done Treat that. It. We're going to draw three more monsters. Ooh, wow. What do we have? Whoa, a vampire. Cool. The necromancer. Ew, that's creepy. That's it. That's three. Oh, is that three? Okay, we have three more. So we have one, one more round. One more kids. round of shopping yep. and crafting. All right. That's Very if we good. can fill the last order, which is You like get to crazy. expand the town? Oh, yeah. The haberdashy. No, it says all the provisioner. Take all the money. Oh, wow, you take all their money. That's actually pretty Where's good. the provisioner? It's right here. Up there? Yeah, we'll just replace that. Right there. there you go. Okay. And you get this. Uh, I get the merchant master. And you are up. Nice. All right, lead us in. Nope, your turn. Oh, I'm the leader. <laughs> yes. You're the captain now. I'm the captain. Oh, I didn't get a scam card for ending the round last time. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, I didn't get one because you, I think because you took the order. Mm. I think I only get it, yeah, I think okay. I, I can double check that, but I'm pretty sure you only get the scam card. Yeah. If you, um, if you didn't get bribed. Oh. Um, pretty sure. Okay. I'll, I'll look it up a bit. I'm gonna if you have first. to grab one, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Not a big deal. Wow, I gotta see what's going on out here. There's... All right, so we've got um, a monkey's crow, which is like an orb, mm. a mace, an oven mitt, an a oven sword mitt. of smartness, um, an emerald, like a helmet, another emerald, and I'll just stack these emeralds up here. So those are all emeralds. These okay. are all that kind of thing. Well, I'm just... Um... This is like armor and these are weapons. I'm going to actually just go to the, oof, hmm, this is good but bad. I'm going to go to the flea market. Okay. And I'm going to then just trade my orc steel mm -hmm. for, to the green guy for his helmet and his ruby. Okay. And that's it. Hmm. Crap. Hmm. <laughs> I'm really kind of stuck. I don't have any more scam cards either. Oh, really? Mm -mm. You might want to visit the merchant Oh, scam. really? Because they are definitely helpful. Mm-hmm. Oh, you still have cards, don't you? Mm-hmm. I sure do. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. I'll go down to the Merchant's Guild and grab two scam cards. Especially with all these good buildings we have out now. Mm-hmm. Uh... What do I want to do here? 
Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go to the Builders Guild. I'm gonna build a trapezoid alley right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna play a card that will allow me to take free samples to move them one space. And then I'm gonna take my action in Trapezoid Alley, where I'm going to buy up to three items from the wizard. What are you gonna buy? So here's three dollars. You I'll want those emeralds? The, hel the helmet? Uh -huh. Is it all emeralds? That yeah. whole stack of emeralds? I mean, no. Okay, what's what under those like? emeralds? Emeralds? No, let's see what's underneath that. No, it's all emeralds. Is it really? Yeah. I'll take two emeralds. Okay. Wow, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't want emeralds. Okay. But I'll, I guess I'll deal. <laughs> Alright, your turn. Okay. I guess it's fine. Hmm. Oh, that's that one. Okay. Well... I didn't get the scam card I really wanted. Mm. I guess I'll go here and just buy three things. Oh, what? did you give the $3 to the wizard that uh, I paid? No, I put it in the bank. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Um, I'm going to pay $3. I'm like, why doesn't have any money? There. What? It's like, why doesn't have any money? I, I know. Here you go. All right. That's better. Done. <laughs> Just so that I can go in and swoop all their money uh -huh. on my turn. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go to the Artisan's Guild. And I'm gonna level up in Green Shard Master. Okay. Level one. Of course you are. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna go to the old town. You just buy and I'm gonna buy these. one, two, three, four dollars. You can only buy up to three items. What? Times three. Oh well that's stupid. Um <laughs> I, you gotta leave me Please. something. No, this is ridiculous. No, no, no. I don't. I don't have to leave you anything. <laughs> Actually, what are these? That's mm. what you want. Where did I go? The old town. Yeah, I'll still go to the old town. So I'll pay three dollars, and I'll take this and this. And this. Okay. Okay. The huge broadsword of overcompensation. Is that what it is? Yeah. Your turn. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. I think. I'm going to go to the black market and spend $6 to buy two items. Okay. One green shard and one axe. That's it. Mmm. I'm gonna go to the goldsmith and get two dollars. Okay. And also get five dollars. Very good. I'm going to build at the workshop. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use four mithril. What can I build here? You can build pretty much anything. Um, yeah, but I'm not getting the optimum here. Maybe I'll do I'll do three mithril. And three green shards. Okay. For the demon lord? Yeah. Okay. So three mithril satisfies rank one. Mm-hmm.
three green shards satisfies rank one. So that's five. Okay, so it's five, five extra plus no ethereum. That's six extra on top of what So that's eleven mean. points. Twelve. Twelve. That's twelve points. Wait, what? Oh, because you got your plus one. Yep. Okay. And then two dollars. There you go. And two bucks. Thank you. Okay. And the demon lord. And the demon. And a monster goes in the dungeon. In the dungeon. Into the dungeon. Okay. I'll just go to the peddler. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Oh, that only takes lets me take one thing, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. One transaction. That is lame. I'm going to the Minstrel's Guild. Okay. You have to discard one Wait. item. Oh, that's to any open shop? Mm -hmm. And then run it. Well. That's also not what I want to do. I'll just go here like I was going to. So I'll pay a dollar. Peddler shop's closed now. Right? Mm -hmm. We'll go to the apothecary. Okay. Sell some potions. I'll sell two to the warrior, two to the rogue, and one to the mage. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Right. And you're going to get four, six, two, and four. Oh, because you're getting two per, right? Yeah. The well, yeah, the building pays two yeah. per. And four? Mm hmm Four, there you go. Was that right? Yeah, I'm just going to take a ten. I always want to give you the points. I'm okay. You yeah. can have ten of this, too. Instead, because the dollars aren't really worth a lot of points at the end. Mm -hmm. All right, very little points. Yeah, for every five bucks is worth one. I'll go down here and pay a dollar for this. More close signs. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. Cash in these three. Okay. And I'm gonna build. Well, your bag. This one. Yeah. Okay. Because he basically takes three of anything, right? Yeah. Well, a magic item and then two other things. That's what I have. Okay. Two magic and a gem. All right. Are you just getting the basic, or are you getting anything else? Uh, no bonus. Okay. I just I did not use Ethereum, so I get plus one, so four. Okay. Do you have one point? Yeah. How much dollars? Five dollars. Five dollars. And a monster goes in the dungeon. Okay. All right, your turn. Make so many weapons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I messed up because I took this, but I could only buy gems. Oh. So I should have taken that. Okay. okay. Sorry, but I'll go here. And pay another dollar to, you to get back what you want and get back this thing okay and now you can go and buy take all their money <laughs> oh you set me up for that yeah all right so i just pick one guy so yeah. i'll pick the middle guy okay i don't have any more close signs over here i do right. thank you your turn okay 
Um, I'm going to go to the workshop, mm -hmm. and I'm going to build for this guy. The necromancer? Yeah. The necromonger? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to do the vampire one. Um, so I'll do three mm -hmm. of the ethereum. Yes. So that will give me a two-point bonus. And I get rid of my emeralds. I'll just get rid of these things. Work steel. I won't get plus one, but I want to get rid of them. Okay. Or maybe I will. <laughs> All right. Uh, the emeralds are like so hard to get sometimes. Get rid of the axes. They're a dime a dozen. What's one point? Oh stop! You just want them in the bag. <laughs> I don't like the axes. All right. They so it's five things. Me. So it's seven, eight, nine points. Eight nine points. points. Another monster on the board too. Mm-hmm. No money with that one, huh? She didn't come with any money now. Did you put a monster up there? I did. Okay. Um, my turn. I guess what I could do then is... I'll just go to the Aporium and buy this last dude's axe for a dollar. <laughs> Might as well. Okay. And then your turn. I will close that shop. There's like nothing open. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's like not even anything worth going to. All right, I'm gonna call it. All right. Oh yeah, let me look that up while you get the guys in the dungeon. Oh yeah, sure. Um, yeah, if nobody bribes you, you draw a scam card. Oh, okay, yeah. But you bribed me that round. That's why yeah, I draw a scam yeah. card. I knew I read that. All right, so this dude's all leveled up. Oh, wow. So yeah. my potion goes to waste. This guy's going to stop buying potions from me. <laughs> yes, yeah. he's going to be like, I don't need your potions. All right, so they are going in. And um, we're going to have to switch bags, I think. To kill. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's five things. Yep. I'll make those look nice in a second. There's one, two, three, four. And there's your new bag. Five, six, and six more. I'm kind of stacking these just so they're a little more. So you know what we've got going on? There? Yeah, because right. otherwise it's a little tough. That's fine. Okay. Um, that was potion comes back, potion comes back. Open shops, back. guilds go. return potions. Get those back on the pond so I can sell them again next time. <laughs> I know you will. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, yeah. There's a lot going on in this room. All right. Yeah, I got to bring out, I think we're going to bring out our boss. This time. Bring out your boss. Bring out your boss. Oh yeah, oh, good stuff. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Well, Pretty they're bringing good. back all of our weapons that we built them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I guess. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So. So what do we have? An orc brute? An orc brute. A dragon. Ooh. And. The boss. Asmodeus. Asmodeus. <laughs> Asmodeus. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, the game, uh, game ends to buy a yarn ball. if he comes out. Well, he wants three, four, six, seven, he eight wants a yarn ball. For his kitty. Yeah. For kitty. Hello, kitty. Okay. All right, so expand the town. I am the mer master merchant, so I will bring out an emporium. This goes mm. over the peddler. There's, There's another already peddler. emporium. Oh, there is another peddler. Mm -hmm. Might as well upgrade that. And that's it. So yep. you get the master merchant. These guys come back to town. We're ready to begin. So I go first? Yes. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. I have some things to do. 
I'm gonna go to the Minstrels Guild. Wait. Am I going to do that? Are you? Is that a lie? You could. Maybe a lie. Mm. I... I'm gonna go to the Emporium. The Emporium is pretty good. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cash in some money real quick. So I have five, I'm gonna get a three, two ones. And I'm gonna buy two things from this person. Okay. Your turn. Uh, I will go here to the flea market and trade the green guy, one of these, for two helmets. The green guy? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. I'll go down to this aquarium mm -hmm. and pay two more for this. I'm going to go Old Town and I'm going to pay $3 to buy all of his stuff. Okay. So I can buy three items. Okay. Oops, that's a three. I'll take those. Okay. Okay, your turn. I will go. Might as well go to the underground, right? Mm hmm. And buy three things from him. So I'll cash in my five. So I have three. And I'll take not that. Yeah. I'll take that and that and it's one of those. Alright, so we'll go to Trapezoid Alley. And from the wizard, I will buy. Three items. So I'll buy the Wait, helmet, the gem, and the two and one of the axes. There we go. I'm gonna go to the artisans guild. <gasps> And I do? want the green mastery. There you go. Thank you. I'm going to go to the black market, spend $6, and buy two emeralds. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh nothing. You what? Pull two oh. Back. What? You normally pull for the black market oh, out of the scrap yeah. bag, but there's We don't have any scraps. Left. Oh, we haven't built anything. Not yet, we don't. Not yet, we will soon. Wow, I'm gonna let Ethereum. Wow, I love that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the workshop. <gasps> oh my goodness. And I'm gonna craft a weapon for the boss. Oh, for for uh, as Meowdeus. As Meowdeus. <laughs> Get it? As Meowdeus. Of course. As Meowdeus. As Meowdeus. <laughs> so that's gonna require nine items. It is. It is. Well, Actually eight. eight. Items, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to do three emeralds, mm -hmm. three ethereum, mm -hmm. and two helmets. And that'll be ten points, plus two, twelve, plus three, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen points. Plus one. Sixteen Because I didn't points. use work steel, right? Yeah. This is myth mithril. That's mithril, yes. Like Frodo's fancy shirt. Oh, is that what that is? It's mithril, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, how many did I say? Fifteen? Fifteen. Points? Not dollars, but points. Three, four, five, sixteen. Sixteen. Yes. So you crafted already, huh? I did, and that was the boss man. Yeah. See, he has a cat. Yes. <laughs> As Meowdius. Okay. Um... This is tough. 
they'll take him into your pile because mm. he's gone now, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess I guess I'll I'll build the dragon's helm that he wants, right? Helm, okay. Helm's deep. Helm's deep. So I will do. He wants two gems, though. I guess I'll give him. Ah, oh, this is that stinks. So I'll use four mithril and two gems for the dragon. Four mithril and two gems? Yeah. He needs six things. Okay. Oh, yeah. Six, yeah. Four okay. mithril and two gems. Cool. So we get eight, and then what, four? Four mithril gives me another four. Okay. And one, so it's Thirteen. five. Thirteen points. Alright, you're up. Oh, put another monster out there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter, we're not really adventuring, yeah. but... It is your go. Yeah. You know about where to go. All right, I guess I'll go to the Minstrels Guild. Mm -hmm. And I have to ditch something. Yep, anything. Um, well, I, Ooh, that's a I tough can't call, isn't it? discard that to move the heroes to any shop. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right, here. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. And I'll move them here and take these two things for two dollars. What? Uh, no, that's fine. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's two things for two dollars, huh? Yep. Oh, what is that? Okay, okay. Um. There's really no. There's no way to get that last item off of him. You have a scam card? Hmm? You don't have a scam card you could use? To get that off of him? No. I mean, what I could do is you I'm going to fill an order. Why don't you build a bazaar? For what? You build a bazaar oh, and I then could you buy. can just go to the yeah, bazaar. I could do that. Maybe I could do that. I'm just saying. Okay, I'll build. Not that I necessarily want to help you out. <laughs> you just don't want it to end yet. There's the bazaar. So I built it, now I'm taking the action. So one dollar, I could buy one item from each of them, but there's only one guy with anything. So here's a five. Does he have change for a five? What does he owe you? Four? Four bucks. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, a wizard's lab. Look at that, use an artisan's guild. Oh, that's cool. Oh, well, too bad. To do it twice. He let you do it twice. Yeah, I know, that's really cool. Um, yeah, there's like no way to get exactly what I want. Can I have more than one of these? Yeah, actually, you can. Mm. Well, the heroes don't have anything anymore. They've got nothing. Yeah, it's not good. And the black market is closed. Yeah. Well, I am going to play the Midnight Oil, though. Oh, so you can do So I can visit a guild that's closed, which I will do. Okay. So I'll pay six bucks. Take two items. To take two items. Okay. I'm going to go to the workshop and build Vampira's wand. Vampira's wand? Yeah, okay. with two green shards and three orcs. Mm, nice. So that's going to be six, seven points for me. And a dollar. Seven and a dollar. That's it. It's the last of my materials. Mm. 
Yeah, there's no way to really do what I want. Oh, here, take your vampire. Mm. Um, all right. Well, I guess I'll just go to the workshop again, mm -hmm. and I'll do this orc brute guy. So I'll sell him these and these three. All my stuff. Okay. I don't get any extra points for it, but I get seven. Seven points? Yep. It's worth it. Yeah. Did you use orc steel? Is that one? I did. <laughs> Those hammers, I so It wasn't one of your signature there. items. It wasn't. All right, so then I'll just use a free sample to move my heroes here and then finish <laughs> the haberdashery uh -huh. and take all of his money. Even though that looks like more, it's not. Yeah. All right, and... I will use late shift mm -hmm. and do that closed action as well mm. and take $7 from this guy. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can leave them where they are. Yeah. Just have them on the late shift. Yep. Okay. But yeah, like he came in afterwards, like, yeah. I'll take over from here. All right, and I call to send them to the dungeon. All right, yep, I won't you say no to that. <laughs> Oh wait, did we put enough people in we here? We did. Not that it matters. No, we did. We did? It Even for my matter. orc? Oh, you did the orc. Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know you didn't take them. I know that we turned them up. So basically yeah. when you turn this up, it says game end. Done. <laughs> so the game is over. And we yeah. just really need to just count out our, uh, points, right? our victory points. Yeah, that's really it. So how well did you fare? <sighs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Cash these. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and then your money. Remember, your money counts. Mm -hmm. How much is that again? Five, uh, you get a dollar for every, a uh, point for every five okay. dollars. Okay, cool. Five, ten. All right, so here's ten dollars. All right, that's my money. Yeah, so at the end you get uh, one dollar, one point for every five dollars. So I get, I'll just change in my money for victory points. Yeah, I don't need more tens. Five victory points. All right, and that's it. These don't count, or anything left over doesn't count. Did you cash your money in? What? Yes, I did. Your extra change. Yep. Right. So how many points? Sixty-six. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. 61. Oh, wow. so close. Very, very close. All right, cool. Yeah, cool. Let's, Let's go, go talk about it. There you have it. You're a greedy goblin. I am. Heroes <laughs> are welcome. Yeah, heroes, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Okay. All right, All right okay. cool. So let's talk about it. Um, so let's uh, let's start off with theme because this game oozes theme. Oh, and yeah, I think we yeah. overuse the word oozes. I think so. But... It has, it, it has plenty. It does, yeah. It has plenty of theme. Yeah. Um, no, you really do. It's neat how you're kind of, you're really playing both sides. Mm -hmm. So you're so really serving yourself. You're, that's the side you're on, really. But yeah, I like the, you really feel like you're going in and like going to the apothecary and like selling them these potions mm -hmm. and like taking their stuff and, you know. Yeah. Like, so there's a lot of flavor that we didn't read to you that's even on this just as a prototype. Oh, yeah, right? without a doubt. Yeah, there's tons of uh, there, there's tons of little uh, bits of flavor text on every card, mm -hmm. right? And if you really start to read through it and, and, and get into the lore and the theme, it really it, everything has it. Right. And uh, it definitely adds a lot to the experience oh, because sure. you're and I think from a theme perspective, right? You're taking sort of your typical you're the dungeon crawlers and you're going in, you're killing monsters, you're yeah. coming back, you're selling your loot, and you're doing all that stuff. But you turn that on its head, and now all of a sudden you're these greedy goblins who are there to kind of, you know, take advantage of you and all this loot you're carrying out, and you're like, all right, here's all my junk, and right. they're buying it from you, and they're 
pain and they're taking your money and, and like you're crafting stuff then for the other side right who i guess you're not really preparing well because they're going in and just getting slaughtered by these <laughs> right, yeah, you're just sending them in to get slaughtered knowing yeah. that these heroes are getting stronger every time I they come back part of it. but it is Maybe part of it because you're supposed to build them crappy stuff so that the heroes come back with more it, even that or that you just know the heroes are always going to win yeah because right? in those games the heroes always go in and kill yeah. everything and they come back and then all the money you've earned from all the loot you sell you buy other stuff and more provisions mm -hmm. to go back and do it all over again. So th that's that sticks to the theme of Dungeon Crawl. Like they're right. doing what they're supposed to be doing, and it, it's really good that it simplifies that whole combat mechanic. It's just they go in, they wipe out the monsters. Oh yeah. And they come back with a bunch of loot and they level yeah. up. Like that's it's it's simplistic because that's not the core of this game. The core of this mm -hmm. game is in how you run the day shift yes. when they come back from this dungeon, right? right? And how much money you can get out of them. And how much of the loot you can get to convert back into better materials, send it back out again. Like I think that yeah. the whole thing is just compared really, really to cool. your goblin opponents. Who yes. are also trying to do the same thing. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I think theme is uh, is definitely on point here. Yeah, me too. Um, so what about um, mechanics and weight and kind of audience mm. all together? So who's this for? It's definitely lighter. It's definitely worker placement, and there's yeah, a lot of strategy sure. here. Um, but it's not, I mean, I don't find it like overly complica uh, complex, complicated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, you know, I think that it would be one that pretty much anybody can play. I think so. Sure. And I think it's because the actions are simple. It's yeah. Go to this building, do this, and that's it. And then the, and the space is closed. Right. Like, you're done. Yeah. And you have to think about, all right, if I'm all the way over here and I want to go to a space over mm -hmm. there, do I have a card that's going to let me do that? Right. Right. And if you don't, then you're kind of out of luck and you, maybe you can do some other things, but there always seems to be options of things to do. And yeah. when there's not, you're like, you know what? I'm, I'm ending the round. Right. So, cause I don't want you to be able to go do this other stuff. Yeah. And I would say it's not it, like if you're AP prone or you know somebody who is, this may be a good option Yeah. because you're not going to get stuck in that. You're not planning too, too far ahead as you know, you're looking at the cards going, okay, this round I probably want to get one or two of these mm -hmm. and your actions are very limited in terms of where you're on the board because you can only go adjacent spaces unless you have a card that lets you do something else but right. again it's not I don't know it's you know it's AP friendly I think so right yeah um so no that was very good okay yeah, really really good yeah um, midweight I'd say it's about medium yeah I would say so too yeah. um anything else you want to say that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. So obviously this is all prototype, but this is a good looking prototype. It really is. No, yeah. no question. What I would like to see, and I think it's mm -hmm. kind of, we, we always put point out yeah. little bits and bops <laughs> that we'd like to see when we do a Kickstarter playthrough because, you know, we, we usually see games in their sort of raw early form. Right. Um, at least not final, right? Mm -hmm. And it's very seldom we do get final versions of anything on Kickstarter because there's so many stretch goals that have to go into it. There's so right. many things that are added on. There's probably about 10 more cars that are going to go into it yeah. you know as part yeah. of stretch goals but in any case what i would love to see is i think um and, and i don't know because these are prototypes i can't even say but like all the pictures of the buildings are very generic right so i'd love to see each building have its own unique picture which yeah. i can imagine that's going to happen right because if you look on the um like on the scam cards which you guys probably couldn't see very well and also on our player boards yeah they're really fleshed out with you know some background and some character yeah there's a lot more character to it so, so i i, I think that, I, I, yeah i'd love love to see that i, yeah. I think that uh, like that would just really enhance the experience and the theme even more mm -hmm. um to, to put to, to see that on there which i'm sure it is and we're these yeah. are just things that we'd love to see right right um but otherwise i think like everything else really just the iconography is really good once you yeah. learn it it's pretty very it's pretty straightforward right um uh, you know we obviously played a two-player right so yeah. it, it may have seemed and it, de it definitely felt a lot more loose than what we're used to yeah and that's something we talked about mm -hmm. too i mean as we were kind of playing through and getting prepped it was that if you're playing with more players, how's it going to scale? Yeah. We don't know because we've only played with the two of us. Don't know. Um, but we can imagine that it's probably going to be a little tighter. You know, your rounds might go, or they might feel like they go a little quicker. You might get less turns, is what I should say. Less, less actions turns, on less your Less actions, turn. less points. Yeah, perhaps. yeah, without a doubt. Because you've got, I mean, every game's going to have 15 You have the monsters. same number of monsters. That's it. So yeah. if you've got four or five players, you're looking right. at three to four contracts fulfilled mm -hmm. at most. Where yeah. each of us had like six or seven. Yeah. So that's where the scoring is much higher for us with two players, where I, I'm assuming the scoring for larger player counts is going to be much less. And you're probably going to be able to, if at most, build one item per yeah, round. Yeah, I would say probably. 
if you're lucky, and you may yeah. actually have to save up stuff for a second round to start, you know, putting out some bigger items, you know, or saving up yeah. for the bigger payouts, you know what I mean? Right, exactly. I didn't feel extremely pressured to mm -hmm. have the amount of stuff because it's like we could go to one of these um, buildings where we could take three things from one person, yeah. you know, and take as much as we wanted to. So. Yep, and it's just, it, and I don't know how the buildings come out. Uh, and like maybe we were a round or two away from getting a lot more of the, the higher level buildings out because right. they seemed quite powerful. And I think those might come out in a higher player count maybe game a, where as they well. don't tend to come out for us because right. they are stacked. So definitely would like to see, yeah. I would have liked to have seen some of the mm -hmm. end game buildings come out right. you know, at the end of our game. But yeah. but otherwise, but we don't know. I mean, it could be a two player thing, and it could be still yeah. being tweaked. But otherwise, but it was still fun at two. <laughs> otherwise, it's it's still a lot of fun. Yeah, it was There's really no really cool. Yeah. Very satisfying. Um, how about just expectations? Like, what did you think? Yeah. So I was actually my. I mean, this was uh, you know, Edo is you know we've done games for yeah, we, Pencilverse before and some other. Um, Herbaceous we did. Herbaceous we did. Yeah, we did and so, a number of games for Edo. Um, I'm always like, I kind of like get excited when we get a, you know get a game from him because I know it's probably gonna be good because yeah. we enjoyed yeah, a lot I think of the last those. one we did was Sunset Over Water. Yeah and um, but I was also expecting it to be much lighter mm -hmm. like some of those other games too. So when it was like here's welcome I was like oh, okay like is this gonna be one we're gonna like want to take out and play with kids or like are we gonna you know is this gonna be something that we're really gonna want to play just to sit down and play a game. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, you know, because it's it's big. It's not like a small box game like Herbaceous that we right. just pull out and play. Um, but it exceeded my expectations from that standpoint because I really expected it to be more of just kind of a simpler worker placement. Like, okay, this is yeah. kind of fun for the right crowd um, or if the right people are over. Mm -hmm. um, but this is one that I would enjoy to just like pull out and play again. Yeah. You know? Know. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, it exceeded my expectations. It totally exceeded yeah. my expectations. I, I yeah. wasn't sure what to expect here. I definitely thought lighter. Um, but it's a nice, chunky game that doesn't yeah. get too thinky. Well, I was going to say, like, you get lost in the theme. I get, yeah. And this, I love that. The theme I totally really, sucked really me in. That. So they, they, they got me on theme here. Yeah. And, and, and it works. <laughs> it does, So yeah. we really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So right. um, it should be live on Kickstarter now. Uh, the link is below. Go check it out. Let us know what you think, and if you you like it, back it, because, you know, Edo's, they always deliver. Yeah. So, uh, there you go. Thanks for okay. watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.